Hello, welcome back everybody. So in this uh, uh, tutorial, I will discuss micro strip implementation of this quarter wavelength transmission line as promised. So what I did is I saved the previous schematic as a new schematic quarter wavelength transmission line um, micro strip. So that's what you see here. This is the new schematic that we are working on. So just what you do is you go file save as and that's 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 and rename your file as quarter wavelength transformer micro strip as we have been doing before now um, the the goal of this uh, tutorial is to uh, teach you how to convert a real uh, the ideal transmission line with a given characteristic impedance and electrical length at a given frequency into an implementable uh, version into microstrip technologies. As you know, for example, that the microstrip uh, technology essentially has a substrate, uh, the dielectric material, and the you know the ground copper plane here, and the top conductor where all your patterns and designs are. So that is also usually copper. And uh, so when you are converting that ideal transmission line into microstrip transmission lines so essentially what you have to do is to convert this uh, impedance value and the electrical length value into an equivalent length and width of this transmission line here so for example this transmission line has certain width and uh, certain width and certain length so like you know how, how that is related to the the characteristic impedance and the electrical length here so to that end, first of all, uh, what we do is we first of all we decide okay which substrate we wanted to use. So normally at high frequency we use Rogers, and you know there are other as well, but I have always used Rogers uh, material. They provide free of cost samples to the university faculty and students. In Rogers 4000 uh, series, they have the two materials, very popular materials, 4003C and 4350B. So I'll be using 4003C. Now, if you look here, all the parameters that we'll need to, you know, do that calculation of converting the characteristic impedance into the length and width are given here. And there are some other, like, you know, the standard thickness and panel size and those parameters are given here. So to that end, first of all, what we do is we go here and, um, we begin with something called the line calculator. So we go to tools and start line calc and allow access. Sorry, so line calc is here. And what it will do is it will, you don't have to do your calculations uh, yourself. Uh, all the ideal parameters are, are given here. What you do is you substitute those things in, in here in the line calculator and put the parameter uh, information for the subset that you have chosen and it will calculate everything for you so there are different kind of lines as you know for example we'll in the future we'll use mc lin the micro strip uh, couple line for example so you can also do that calculation here somewhere mc lin yeah here so as you can see here this is couple lines so we'll go back and we'll do this today for m lin uh, micro strip transmission line so m lin is here and what we have to do here is to insert all the information. So the dielectric constant, if you go here in the tutorial, sorry, in the uh, data sheet, what you will find is control plus. Okay, what you will find is the dielectric constant here. The process is here, but they recommend that you use this value for dielectric constant, uh, 3.55 design DK. So that's what you will use, 3.55 very close to one uh, you know uh, mu r and h is basically so we'll leave it default and h the substrate height so what you see here is that that height for example the thickness of that substrate so suppose we are going to use what are the standard thickness available so there are you know 32 mil substrate uh, so uh, or 0 0.032 inches so we'll use uh, normally i have used 60 mil so i will use 60 mil later on we'll talk about the you know the difference between these different thickness how that impacts the performance uh, but today let's say that we are going to use 60 mil substrate or 0 0.06 inches or 1.524 mm so what we'll do here is uh, substitute 60 mil and then HU we will leave that default T is the thickness of that conductor so if you look here you have basically copper in the micro strip so what is the thickness of that that copper this thickness T what is the thickness of that copper here and here so that normally we have used uh, 35 micron or one ounce of copper so one ounce on the top and bottom one ounce one E by one E I think they call it so let's call let's say that 35 and change the unit to micron don't forget that 
that's the 35 micron then the material that we have there on the top and bottom it's the copper so the conductivity of copper is 5.8 so uh, 5.8 here tan d is the dissipation factor how much is that this is a, yeah here tan d lost tangent so uh, it's a 0 0.0027 at this frequency 0 0.002 at this frequency so the last digit is a bit changing here uh, with frequencies I will just use 0 0.002 for now so 002 surface roughness parameter we don't know so we'll leave those things default and if you want it to be more accurate you can use, use the dielectric model like you know put all this information the second digit but that is not mandatory and our design frequency for example is 1 gigahertz so we'll substitute 1 gigahertz in here and now we have put all the information here for the microstrip substrate and then we put our design frequency here and now we will do this calculation here so we have 35.35 it is a characteristic impedance. So we'll type in 35.35 here. And then the electrical length that you wanted to uh, achieve is 90 degrees at that frequency, 1 gigahertz, 90 degrees at 1 gigahertz. That's what we put there. So the characteristic impedance and electrical length, and then click synthesize. You can also sometimes do the reverse calculation given the width and length of the transmission line how you can convert that to ideal transmission line parameter or what is the corresponding characteristic impedance and electrical length so that you can also do but normally what you do is you you have the ideal transmission line information and what you do is you wanted to convert that to real transmission lines especially in micro so you you proceed like this now click on synthesize and what you will see here is that these value will get changed so it did the calculation and what it found is that to realize this much value of characteristic impedance and this much length of electric, electrical length at 1 gigahertz and given this, this substrate parameter, this is the, the width and length of transmission line that you should be using. So we'll keep it like this and what we'll do is we'll click here somewhere and go here, layout, uh, sorry, tools, line calc and place new synthesized components. So we'll put it here and Next, if it zoom fit the window. So what you will see here for now is uh, you have this M sub def definition that will be required. You could you could have also brought this one here from here this M sub definition and you know M lin from here and then you substituted all this information yourself if you calculated it manually. But I prefer doing it this way. So what all I have to do is to remove this one from here and attach this one here right and then this variable perhaps uh, at this moment is not required so we'll just maybe deactivate this for now and this optimization also i don't need it for now so just deactivate this and perhaps not this goal also so the, these are like you know not relevant you can delete them if you wanted to but just we'll need them in future maybe so i just i'm just keeping it here so what you see here is that you must have the substrate definition because it's the simulator will look at the substrate and it will try to find what is the substrate that you wanted to implement this in microstrip in. So this is what you have. And then suppose you wanted to do the S parameter simulation from here to here, uh, 0 to 2 gigahertz. So I think that the, the simulation, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, is set up now. We have calculated or, you know, successfully converted the ideal transmission line into the microstrip transmission line of a given width and length. And this is supposed to mimic that uh, 90 degree transmission line of 35.35 micro uh, ohms. So now we are ready to hit simulate. And let's see how much is the difference in the real transmission lines. Shouldn't be much, except perhaps some shift or something. Oh, very nice. So uh, you can see here that, like you know, well, initially it was perhaps a bit more, but what you can see is that it's a, it quite nicely. It's a very nice calculation on conversion from my real microstrip into this. And what you will see here is that very nice match between the ideal result in the microstrip result. So this is how you do the calculation. Later on, we will see that when you introduce uh, the real transmission line, you will see that in general, some you know shift in frequency might occur. And, um, you know, um, uh, no, normally not, but like, you know, when you introduce more complicated network where you have the T and junctions and those things, it will cause the frequency to deviate. And then also, because I not I've not plotted S21, but in general, when you have the more you know elaborate design where you have to plot S21, S23, and all that, you'll see that as the signal goes from here to here, there you will incur more losses in the real transmission line. In ideal, you have zero loss, but in the real transmission line, you'll see some losses. So in this brief tutorial, I wanted to introduce you to how to convert the uh, um, ideal transmission line parameter into an implementable. 
uh, micro strip equivalent transmission line using the you know practical substrate and uh, later on what we will do is we will um, so you know uh, we'll start from here and um, with all this knowledge of tuning and optimization and all this you know conversion we are now ready to take up a you know a very nice wonderful uh, um, practical kind of project from scratch so we'll be designing the quadrature, quadrature wavelength uh, quadrature coupler in the next tutorial uh, from scratch and we will uh, you know imply all this knowledge that we have learned so far in you know uh, designing that practically i hope that uh, you found this uh, tutorial helpful so uh, please hit uh, like and subscribe button and um, have a good day everybody shift q